The eyes of Texas and its controversy are upon the 40 acres once again. This time, black lawmakers, several chapters of the NAACP and UT students are calling for the removal of the school song. As KVU's Jenny Lee reports, the demand comes as a UT professor says he's found new evidence tying the song to General Robert E. Lee. A song meant to unite in school spirit, now dividing a campus instead. We can't afford to place profit over people and bow to pressure from bigoted donors. Several UT students gathered at the state capitol to denounce the university's decision to stand by the school's song. It was just very disheartening and it was very dis disappointing to see. It felt very much so that the university was gaslighting us into belief that this song was um, somehow acceptable. They joined lawmakers, civil rights leaders, and a UT professor who says he did his own research about the song's origin. The statement was, the eyes of the South are upon you. That story was investigated by the Eyes of Texas Committee, and they didn't find uh, any evidence that General Lee did say that statement at the end of the speeches. But that story is not what I researched. What Dr. Alberto Martinez says he researched was the history of the song and its ties to then UT President William Prather and the Confederate General Robert E. Lee. In the speech in which President Prather said, stated that phrase, he said that this incident connecting, pertaining to General Lee happened in the Battle of the Wilderness. So what I did was look at the history of the Civil War to find that. The 24-member Eyes of Texas Committee also researched the song. Its conclusion came out nearly three weeks ago, basically stating while the school song has ties to minstrel shows, it was not overtly racist, a decision the Texas Legislative Black Caucus is working with the university to change. We, as the Texas Legislative Black Caucus, are against the continuation of the Eyes of Texas song. We're unequivocal about that. Zion James is also a Longhorn Band member. He says he doesn't know if the band will be playing the Eyes of Texas in the fall because of what happened last year. It was a whole dumpster fire, so. James says he knows a lot of his band members support him. He just wished the university did as well. Jenny Lee, KVU News. Jenny, thanks. Now, we did reach out to UT Austin for comment, but have yet to hear back from the school.